Welcome to today's video. I'll be showing you how to install the WhatsApp Messenger on your iPhone. So we're going to download, install, and set up WhatsApp on your iPhone. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Apple App Store and hit the search icon and then just search for WhatsApp. So it's W A what like that WhatsApp. Okay, and then hit search. Now this is the app we are looking for. Now we do have WhatsApp Messenger and WhatsApp Business. So WhatsApp Business is mainly for businesses. If you just want your own personal messenger, then this is the app to get. WhatsApp Messenger by WhatsApp Inc. So go ahead and tap on get and then confirm. You're going to install. It might ask for your password. This is your Apple ID password, okay? So enter your Apple ID password to proceed with the download and install. Once you type in your password, just tap on sign in. And then it's going to allow you to install the application. Now you might also have enabled, especially if you have Face ID, the double click on the side button or double press on the side button to authorize installations. Just the way you normally install other apps, okay? So allow Messenger to install. Once the installation is complete, you can tap on open to launch the app or you can find the WhatsApp icon somewhere in your home screen. So you can launch it from here. If you don't see it in one of your home screens, then you can find it in the app library, long press on the icon. So let's say for instance, this is the icon, you can long press on it and then select add to home screen. But since ours is on the home screen automatically, you can launch WhatsApp from there. So now we've already installed, let's set it up. So this is the first screen you're going to see. You'll have to read to the privacy policy and terms of service, and then eventually agree and continue. Now, enter the phone number you want to be using with WhatsApp because your WhatsApp account is going to be attached to a specific phone number that you own. So I'm just gonna add my phone number here. Of course, after uh, allowing WhatsApp to send me notifications. Now, it's gonna add for you your country code and all you have to do is enter the rest of the phone number. Now, if you have another, or if you have an account an existing account on, on another device and you want to set that same account on this device, you can just tap on link this device to an existing account and then you'll scan a QR code and uh, add that account. But for me, I want to add a brand new account with my new phone number. So I'll add my phone number and tap on done. Now it's going to try and verify this. So it's going to send me uh, a text message, farm yes, to receive a text message. So the text message message should come to the number I provided. So make sure you use a number that's actually working. So I have received a text message from WhatsApp and all I need to do is go to that text message, copy that code, and then go back to the WhatsApp verification and paste the code there, okay? Or you can even type it if you're not able to paste. I'm actually able to paste, so I'll paste. And that opens up our WhatsApp. Now, if you had backups, you'll have options to restore from a backup, or you can just tap on skip restore because as you can see for me, I have no backup found. So skip restore. And then now this is the time to choose a profile picture and the name you want to appear on your WhatsApp profile. Okay. So I'll just put in a name like that. And then to add a profile picture, which of course you can do later, but let's just uh, finish setting it up. You can choose to take a photo right now or you can choose a photo from your gallery or you use an avatar. Let's choose a photo from the gallery. Go to my gallery, pick a photo, 
resize the photo the way I want it and position it by dragging it exactly where I want it and then tap on choose and that's our profile picture and our name okay and then tap on done in the top right corner and then of course uh, that's it now you're going to have to give a few permissions for instance whatsapp would like to access your contacts i feel that's okay and then also it says tap on this icon in the top right corner to start a new chat so basically you've set up whatsapp this is where your chats will normally appear once you start chatting with people uh, this is where the whatsapp status will appear your call log on whatsapp communities that includes groups and stuff like that and then you have settings on the extreme right hand side okay now let me send a message for instance uh, uh let me send a message to one of my contacts i'll go to the top right corner to create a new message let me send a message to my boss for instance there you go and the message has been sent and that confirms whatsapp is now working and that's basically how to install and set up whatsapp on your iphone thanks for watching leave your comments and questions down below and good luck